The war has spilled in the Middle East, with Israel simultaneously fighting Hamas, Hezbollah, and now even Iran. Let's, uh, take a look at the ones who have shaped the conflict to the way it looks now. Following Hamas's October 7th attack on Israel, Netanyahu has been clear about his objective to destroy Hamas and secure Israel from further threats. He has repeatedly stated that Israel will not stop its operations in Gaza until total victory is achieved. Meanwhile, Israel has initiated a limited ground incursion in Lebanon, targeting Hezbollah. Netanyahu clarified that the goal is to ensure that northern Israel is safe, allowing residents to return home without fear of cross-border attacks from Hezbollah. At the UN, Netanyahu also warned Iran and its proxies, stating, There is no place in Iran that the long arm of Israel cannot reach, and that's true of the entire Middle East. Supporting Netanyahu is Defense Minister Yoav Gallant. Despite reports of disagreements between them, Gallant has been directing the IDF's operations and remains the second most powerful military figure in Israel. Also backing them is Mossad chief David Barnea. Although Israel has not officially confirmed its role in the pager and walkie-talkie blast in Lebanon, Mossad is believed to be behind the successful attack, which embarrassed Hezbollah and severely damaged its communication system. Yahya Sinwar, the Hamas chief and mastermind of the October 7th attack the trigger for the conflict. The 61-year-old Palestinian, with a $400,000 bounty, has been in hiding since the war began. Sinwar, who took over leadership after Ismail Haniyeh's death, is reportedly in Gaza's tunnels, using a human courier system to deliver messages, which has hindered ceasefire efforts. Now let's talk about the most prominent figure in Hezbollah, former Hezbollah chief Hassan Nasrallah. Nasrallah unified Hezbollah against Israel, transforming it into a formidable Iran-backed force. His assassination escalated hostilities across the region. The second in line of Nasrallah, Hezbollah's deputy chief Naim Qasem, is another prominent figure. Now leading Hezbollah's counterattacks against Israel, Qasem remains committed to continuing the group's aggressive tactics. Apart from this, Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei has been the one who has continuously taken a harsh stance against Israel and has had a major impact on how the conflict looks at the present. Khamenei retaliated after Nasrallah's death by launching missile strikes on Israel, deepening Iran's involvement in the conflict. Apart from these names, former Hezbollah military commander Fuad Shukr, IRGC chief Hossein Salami, and Houthi chief Abdul Malik al-Houthi are some other prominent names having influenced the Middle East crisis.